on this road we've taken, it's quite muddy. And, you know, slow going. Try not to get ourselves buried or stuck in a, in a washout. I have to check the exhaust. It looks like it's getting plugged up again. Don't want to burn out our light. Ah. Of course, I'm the one who has to walk in the mud. Unbelievable. Supercharger blowing. I don't know if you guys can hear it. I'm hopping from sagebrush to sagebrush. Try not to sink myself. All right, got my muck boots on. Ready to go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Problem is with this stuff, tires don't get cleaned. So there's absolutely no traction whatsoever. Unless you were to just completely romp on it. Even then, I don't know how much would actually get cleaned out. Oh. I'm picking up unwanted stragglers. Getting awfully close to a drainage ditch. Boy, in no time we'll have 14 inch wide rims. Uh oh. Muddy mess. Let me just try to get me a little groove so I can. I'm not gonna slide into that ditch over there. Which we kind of expected it, but we kind of expected it that it's going to be, you can get rough out here. The good thing is there is pretty solid, I mean this thing about three, four inches on the top and then it's pretty solid, but it's pretty slippy, so it's kind of hard. <laughs> Mitch almost left his boot in, in there in the mud it's pretty gooey and on this particular trail we still have 33 miles to go i don't know there's no turning back because i'm not sure if it's going to be any better so we'll have to press on and hopefully we'll make it mitch why are your knees shaking <laughs> just lugging around these big things <laughs> I guess after yesterday's hike. <laughs> That's pretty funny. So it's been really slow going, huh, Mitch? Mm -hmm. Mostly due to temperature rising. The tires are full of mud kind of hard, our engine has to work extra hard. It's not hot outside, I would say probably close maybe to 60 degrees. And to prevent overheating, every so often we have to stop and let it cool. By the way, here is the surrounding. I guess it's a good, good place to get stuck. Pretty interesting. Like I always say, I'm not stuck, I'm just delayed. Uh, good point, Mitch. We are delayed. Even though we're not even delayed, we're not, <laughs> we're not keeping time to, uh, uh, keeping time on this trip anyhow. Alright, we stopped because we're about to go down this hill and honestly, camera's not going to give any type of justice to how steep this is. Uh, yeah. It'll be fun. Good thing there's snow though. 
Seems like it gives it the cruiser quite a bit more grip. So, yeah. It looks like to be a skid plate down at the bottom. Maybe someone else was dumb enough to go down the hill like us. Seems keeping the momentum and just pushing through the mud seems to be more effective. Except you gotta be real careful because it's really easy to get off the cliff in places. But it really gets sideways. Still is fun though. <laughs> yeah. Sure it's fun as long as we don't get From the cab, it doesn't give it justice, but half of the time it's just going sideways. Paradoxically, going in the snow, and it's probably a six inches of snow here, a lot easier than, uh, than the mud. Just right here, all the traction goes, and we are going nowhere. <laughs> So, how much he has to keep correcting. Mud flying everywhere. Man, I am, uh, I'm getting hot, but I can't open the window because I did it before and I got full, flung full of mud. Oh, look at that. It's amazing. Just a little bit of snow and I'll get up all the traction. This is uh, what's called Redneck windshield cleaning. So we burned already uh, almost a tank of fuel going on this road. Nice looking canyon, tough road in this time of the year. Of course, if we are to wait here until midnight, I think it would fr froze up just enough to, to make the going easier. Um, but we want to press on and and it's actually, uh, it's fun. It's fun, but it's getting tiring. Yeah, it's been, uh, what, five hours? Uh, well, at least five hours. We left uh, the town, it was right around 9.30. It's already close to six o'clock. We got off road probably around 10, 10.30. So we've been going for a while. It's not too many miles, but uh, especially at the beginning, we were going really slow. Um, but uh, Mitch was filming <clears throat> a little while ago. That was a tough, tough climb. There alone, I probably burned, I don't know, 15 minutes. Just literally uh, 200 yards. Anyway. Well, this is more what we are used to. We're cooking now. We've got fuel. The road got better. We can actually move. And uh, it was an awesome day. And the beauty of it on 
this particular juncture of our life, we know, we know we're in the hurry, so even if we had to spend the night here, we don't have any commitments tomorrow to try to, to sweat it, how do I get out and stuff like that, so it gives that additional freedom to enjoy yourself. All right, so we're back into civilization. Mitch uh, <laughs> cleaned out our exhaust. It melted the lights some more. Um, and of course we have, I don't know if it's particular to this particular uh, rim style, but it gathered all the mud. It's probably a common problem inside and uh, we can't go more than like 47 miles per hour, otherwise it, it starts vibrating like crazy. We pulled here to the gas station, there's a washing bay, but it's out of order and there's not one for miles. Because there's no decent sized town for like next, I don't know, 50 miles or so. So we'll just keep, keep humming along. Nice boots, Mitch. <laughs>